Hi everyone, so today I'm showing you what I got in the June edition of Jolie Box. So this is their first birthday edition. So I'm going to show you what the products are, give you a little bit of info about them and tell you what I think and I hope you like the video. Okay, so firstly the packaging for this month is completely different. So it's the limited edition packaging that's got all kind of little bottles on and perfumes and lipsticks and things like that. So I really like that. The inside is just a plain pink colour. And then the bottom of the box is yellow, which I think is a lovely contrast. So the cards that you get with it, it talks about a gift that you've won. And it's basically where you get 10% off the Jolie Box eShop. So that's one of them. So another one that's advertising a skincare brand. Another one that's advertising another brand as well. Radiant Boost. And then the usual card, which tells you the products that are listed and a little bit about what they were thinking for the box. So it says, June marks our very first birthday at Jolie Box. And in honour of the occasion, we have prepared many special treats to brighten your day. And then it just goes on to talk about the different products that are included. So, as you can see, the inside of the box is also matching the outer box and we've got the usual bag which I, I still absolutely love, I think that they're great so that's that we get straight into it with the first one now I probably won't be able to pronounce this which makes no um, change there there's the brand name and that's just cheating but there's the brand name and it is uh, eye and lip pencil now I've had this out the out the packaging the packaging was actually quite hard to open but basically it's a sort of uh, a rosy colour um, that's the best way for me to describe it really but this is a full size and it says discovery product from the makeup and nail ranges it just goes on to say that the gentle makeup and nail ranges were made using innovative technology and featuring all natural and um, veg vegetal that's what it says active ingredients so I've looked up the price of this and this is 7.43 for this full size version so that's the first product on the list the next one I was a little bit curious when I saw this I wasn't too sure on it but it's the Institute Esderma I think that's how you say it if not I know, I know someone will correct me <laughs> it's the bronze repair body lotion and it says this lotion battles damage caused by the sun and reduces signs of aging whilst also helping skin act uh, achieve a healthy glow can't read this morning so here it is there it's like a sort of spray I wouldn't really say it was a lotion but maybe it needs more of a shake up but I've already tried that once now this the full size version's 100 mils and that works out to be about 38 pounds now so that means that this sort of version is around 7 760 is what I've worked it out to here so that's the next one on the list it does have a, quite a nice scent to it and I'm kind of interested that it does reduce the signs of aging which you know we, we could all do with but that's the next item on the list and it's definitely a really good size this is 20 mils the one after that was a brand that I'm keen to try more of I think it's pronounced Locutan if I remember correctly and it's the Angelica hydration cream now this is just a small sample size we'll just get it out I've already tested this as well so there it is out the packaging and it's just a cream as you can see there it's quite thick It's got a really nice scent to it as well. Hard to describe it, but I can only describe it as kind of like a, a plant extract sort of smell. But that's that one, and it says it's a smooth facial cream uh, that reinforces natural skin hydration and leaves skin looking radiant and fresh. So that's a new product. Fortunately, I've looked this up online, and price wise, I can't actually find a price on it so I'm guessing that it, it'll probably be released shortly with prices but it has got a really nice scent to it and I can imagine that it'll be really refreshing to put on first thing in the morning so that's the next one and the last one it does say on the card that customization only applies if you filled out the beauty profile now I don't know if you're aware of the issues that 
um, jewelry box have had, but actual fact is that basically everyone's got someone else's box because they've kind of messed it up. So unfortunately the one I've got is for the skin type that's not going to be suitable for me, which is um, it's the normal to dry skin one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but you can see the brand, the brand name, I'm assuming it's Yonka. Paris and there's the details of it but it's a pample mousse normal to dry skin and what it says on the card here is this lightweight facial cream protects skin from external factors making complexions look hydrated and bright so this one here it doesn't seem to be um, well, it doesn't say on the card rather full size, but it actually is a full size product. We've looked this up online, and this product is actually fifty two ninety five. So this is an um, absolute full size and quite an expensive product. So it's a really big bonus that Jolie Box have been able to provide us with this. So that's really big plus side for me anyway. The only thing is, as I said, it's the wrong skin type, but luckily my friend is normal to dry skin, so I will treat her to this, and I'm sure that she'll enjoy it. But that completes the Jolie box for this time. The other thing, which was a bonus, which I almost nearly forgot about there, is this little nail file, which is pretty cute. It says, I love my Jolie nails. So that's a cute little extra that was on there. But that is all of the products this month, as you can see in there. I've really thought that this box was definitely more than worth it. Way more than paid for itself and far beyond that. I thought it was really good. If you've got this box, let me know what you think. If you've got any of these products and you've tried them, let me know what you think of them as well. I always like to hear back from you. Leave a comment, let me know. If you've got a, vi a video to put as a video response, do so now and I'll accept them. But I hope you like the video and thanks very much for watching.